Hello everybody, this is Bubba Rutherford, Rutherford Landing Cattle. I want to just bring a little uh, short update to you uh, this morning about the market. The market's doing great. You know, I think there's been a big influx this past week. You know, I shared with you guys last week that if you had cattle to, cull cattle that you needed to bring in, this was the time to do it. And, and, and I mentioned to you about all the rain. You see what happens is when there's not, when there's so much rain, People can't get cattle to the uh, to the market, but at the same time, you can't get the cattle to the market, but that pipeline still has got to be filled. And so what happens is the, the few cattle that they have, you know, just like when you're taking cattle to the packing house, man, the, the, the packing prices are up on those cattle. The, uh, for the for the kill bulls, it's up on, on the, those kill bulls. All the different prices are still up there on the yearlings, you know, they got orders to fill and man, they're, they're given to the max just to get those things filled. And so I'm telling you right now, as wet as it is, if there's any way for you to get them to the market, it's a good time to do it. Also want to mention to you this right here. We've got a lot of people right now. I have a truck. Uh, we're making, bringing in two 18 wheeler loads of cattle out of Arkansas that we just went up there and bought a herd out and uh, bringing those cattle in. We're going to bring them in here, weigh them, get them sorted, put the prices and everything. What we're giving, we're basically giving what the uh, what they'll bring at the sale barn. But then, customers saving the uh, uh, the commission prices, and we're working it out on the shipping, and we're just doing different things like that. But what I want to bring to you right now is this right here. If you have calves, you know, if, if you're not getting, you know, if on the market those calves are running anywhere from the simple fact of bringing. It shows that they should bring anywhere from a dollar and a dime up to a dollar seventy-five. And you're just like, well, Bubba, why don't I ever get that dollar seventy-five? Why don't I ever get up there a dollar sixty-five or a dollar fifty? Can you explain this to me? Be more than happy to. And this is what last night, as I was laying there in bed, and I, you know, I woke up this morning real early and uh, just kind of sitting there, just kind of like my quiet time, and it it dawned on me. You know. Right here where I'm located in Fairfield, Texas, there is, I can go any direction, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, six days a week. And there's auctions that we can go to in a 50 mile radius of us any given day. So what I wanna offer to you is this right here. If you're wanting to know, why won't my calves bring certain prices? You bring those calves in here to me. We'll sit there. I'll, I'll look at those calves one-on-one. -on -one. Now, you're going to need to remind me that you want me to, to explain them to you, and I'll be more than happy to. But why is this calf only worth a dollar and a dime? Why is this calf only worth a dollar, um, dollar twenty, dollar twenty-five? Why can't I get a dollar forty, dollar fifty? And we'll look at those calves one-on-one. -on -one. One at a time, I'll look at that calf, and I'll, I'll give you an example. i give you, let me, let me put it to you like this. Yesterday, I had a set, I had three calves come in off a of man. Uh, these calves weighed within five pounds of each other. And so the first calf came in there, good little yellow calf, but his sheath was a little bit longer. And, you know, those all bull calves, they were straight off the mama. And so, and I give him a price, what those calves was worth and everything. And I told him, I said, the yellow calf, let's weigh it separate. And, you know, cause it was going to bring less money. And that's exactly what we did. And then uh, the other one was a smoky color calf and a black calf. And they weighed same per, uh, I think it was seven, I can't remember, 750 together. And so that, or maybe it was 700 together. I can't remember now what they weigh. I think it was 700. Anyhow. But they were identical. And so they brought a little bit more, a little bit shorter sheath. They still had their nuts. So, you know, we had the discount for the nuts. And uh, they, uh, you know, straight off of mama, you got a discount for that. You know, so, you know, but I was able to, to let the guy know. And this guy brings me three or four calves. Every month or so, he'll bring three or four calves and a cow. And so, anyhow, what I'm telling you is this right here. If you want to bring those cattle in here, let me look at those cattle. I'll explain to you why these calves are worth more money, why this calf is worth less money. I'll sit down with you. And then, if you don't like the price, folks, six days a week, 
there is auctions within 50 miles. We can, I can show you where to take them to and be more than happy for you to do that. And there is no problems, whatever. We'll shake each other's hand, do whatever we got to do, and, and it won't be no problem. But six days a week, there's an auction within 50 miles of me right here. And so I'll be more than happy to do that for you. But for an education purpose, I'd be more than happy to sit down and talk with you. I'm here more now. There, there's only a day or two a week that I'm not here. and But if you call in advance, I'll make sure that I am here and so that I can explain it to you because I am spending more time right here. I'm not really going out. and um, I'm, I may go out and buy a cattle private treaty, and I'm, I'm buying a lot of cattle right now private treaty. Got two loads coming in from Arkansas this week. Got a load coming in from Sulphur Springs this next week. Got a load coming in from the Crockett area next week. Got a load coming in from um, somewhere around Bryan College Station, supposedly next week. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Further south, they're coming in this next week. So anyhow, what I'm saying is this right here. Give me a buzz. Let's talk. Let's look at your cattle. Let's, let's see what we can do, and we'll try to make you some money. And at the same time, I'm going to make money too. This is Bubba Rutherford saying we buy and sell cattle six days a week. We're always closed on Sunday. Y'all have a good day.